Hey. How you doing? Right. What's the word, man? You work here? No. Yeah. I just have QD, man. I, I normally come here to, 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 to... You got any weapons on you right now? Huh? You got any weapons on you or anything like that? Yeah. You have a weapon on you? Yeah. Man. What do you have? Uh, 380. 380? Go ahead and put your hands behind your back real quick. I'm just going to detain you for a second, okay? Can you put your cigarette out? Yeah. You can drop all that. I don't want to break anything. Do you have a concealed carry permit? Oh, I'm, I'm working on it. Okay, I hear what you're saying, man. Where's your 380 at? Okay, just hang tight for me, okay? I live right down the street, man. So right here? Yeah. Okay. Is it your registered firearm? Yeah, registered. Yep. Okay. I got my permit. I mean, registration. Hang tight for me, sir. You got anything else? Just gonna, uh, oh, that's it, but nothing's gonna stick or poke me. No knife, no needles, no. something like that. No. Okay. I'm 10 2, got a firearm secured. 10 4, one firearm secured, 156. Come in, reclear on that. You got an ID on your partner? Uh, yeah, got my wallet. Charlie 1. Charlie 1, reclear on that. 23, two secured, one firearm. 26, 27, Northeast Street. And yeah, their firearms registered, you correct? Yes. I know they come here, man. Smoke a cigarette. Where do you live at? I take the path. Okay. When you're reaching into your, your pocket like that, when I'm coming up on you, and you got a firearm in your pocket that's, uh, that you oh, don't no, have no, a permit no. for, it's kind of a, a bad situation, okay? Oh, when I'm reaching for my pocket? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, right now, I will I will advise you that you're going to be you're under arrest right now because you're carrying a concealed weapon that's not permitted. Mm -hmm. uh, so your detainment did turn into an arrest just now, but we're going to talk about that in just a second, okay? We're going to work on some further information for you. Yeah, and yeah I'm gonna see what's going on. I'm going to take out my cigarettes and show you. I just left QD. You just left QD? Yeah, I'm going to show you my cigarettes. That's, that's why I want my pocket. Okay. Do you got any warrants out for your arrest right now? I don't think so. Okay. Have you ever been on supervision before? What's that? Like. Uh, probation? No. Can I have you walk over here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, can you secure this firearm for me? It's in my right hand. My uh, recorder on real quick. Have a seat back here, partner. What's your first name? Uh, Anthony. Anthony, we're gonna have a conversation for a second, okay, buddy? Yep. Hang tight. Can you hit that back light for him so he's lit up? Came up here, I realized that I was looking at this business, looking at no one open, saw him lawyering back here, made contact with him, asked him if he had any firearms on him. He paused and stared at me. I said, do you have a gun on you? Or do you have a weapon on you? He said, yeah, 37 in my pocket. So I linked him up real quick, grabbed the weapon, said, you got CCW for this? No, I'm working on it. So we're gonna, we wanna find out who he is and uh, go from there. You got my keys? favor actually check that yeah, yeah it is too late now Chucky does 
CO number. CO number is right here if you wouldn't mind running that too. Excuse me, partner. Go for it. All right, buddy. Let's figure this out real quick, okay? Yeah. So first, I gotta, I gotta read your Miranda rights, okay? You got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can well be held against you in a court of law. In a court of law. You got a right to an attorney and have him or her present here when I'm questioning you before questioning you, okay? If you can't afford an attorney, won't be appointed to you at no expense of you, okay? Uh, understanding your rights right here. Do you want to speak to me about what's going on here? Uh, yeah, normally I go to QD. I, I just brought a pack of cigarettes. I, norm I normally come here, you know, just to get out the house a little bit. Yeah. And uh, the reason I was reaching for my pocket, I was going to show you my cigarettes. Okay. Which, which was in the top pocket. So you said big old dog. Oh, and I don't want to have a permit to carry the 380. You know you don't got a permit for it? No, but I'm working on it. I was working on getting my... Uh, Did you know that you needed a permit to carry that 380? Yeah, man, yeah, but it's late. I'm going to the store. Yeah. And, um, Why were you carrying it? Protection. Protection? Protection, man. Okay. <laughs> but, hmm? but, like I said, I just left QD. I normally come here. Smoke a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Are you working on getting your permit? Yeah. Okay, but you know you're not supposed I, I, to carry I, I, one. I got, I got my certificate for the um, that Virginia. Uh, the, yeah. Is that is that firearm registered to you? Yeah. Where'd you buy it at? Uh, the, the uh, pawn shop right there. Yeah, well, you have the pawn shop? Yeah. Okay. How long ago did you buy it? I brought that uh, at the end of March. End of March? How much did you buy it for? Two fourteen. Two fourteen. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's your first name, partner? Anthony. You got my wallet? Or did you I do. My I got your wallet. Anthony, yeah, like that? Yeah. Anthony, what's your middle name, Anthony? Uh, Dwayne. Yeah. D W. Like that? McCray. M C R E. Like that? M-C-R-E. Yep. A-E. Date of birth. Good phone number for you, Anthony. Sorry, I got my full seat back home. It's okay, man. I appreciate you. What's your address? So tonight, what time did you go up to QD? Uh, I always go about one thirty, around one thirty. I just left the little lady. She'll tell you. I'm on camera. You can check the cameras, man. I get a pack of cigarettes, come here, smoke, turn my head, bring my little gun with me. I know I ain't supposed to. The gun is registered in my name. And you know you're not supposed to carry that a permit, but you're carrying it to protect yourself. Yeah, at night, like, like times like this. When you left the house, where did you get the firearm from in your house? Where do you keep it? In my room. In your room. So what pocket did you put in when you left your house? Did you put it in your front left pocket? Yeah. And my cigarettes are on my top pocket. That's why I was reaching for my. I was to go show you the pack of cigarettes. In do my you top do you know anything about this building here? We just come here often to smoke cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. And if they got cameras over there. How, how long ago did you start working on your uh, your uh, thing, for your permit? About March. March. Is that when you picked the firearm up? Yeah. Where'd you buy it from? Uh, the palm shop, right at the, right the Capital Discount. 
How much did you buy it for? About two fourteen, two nineteen. Alright, boss. Hang tight for me, okay? Yeah. Ruger, 380. Let's go. Thank you. Did you got a plastic bag for property real quick? Bag. I still want it floating around here. Registered to him, clear. clear. Okay. So, uh, was out here uh, just checking out the nip and sip. Uh, I know we like to patrol the area and make sure that that's taken care of. Yeah. Came out here, observed the stuff over here, uh, observed, what's that? Fireworks, he's pointing out I thought it was a falling star. Uh, I observed, observed this subject over here, uh, and uh, looked at the total health education sign, mm -hmm. trying to see whether or not this building was viable, an area that someone should be hanging out here at night, want to check it, see what's, what he's going on here, if he's loitering, breaking and entering, anything like that, check him out. Just make contact with him, today, sir, you know, you make contact and ask him if he had a... Uh, any, any weapons on him at which time he started reaching into his coat. And uh, I said, I said, stop real quick, you know, like, hey, do you got any weapons on you? And uh, he said, yeah, I do. So turn around, put his hands behind his back. He advised that he had a 380 in his pocket. Uh, put him in handcuffs prior to searching for that three, or for grabbing that 380 to secure that weapon from him. He advised during that time that he did not have a, a CCW. So uh, we're going to seize this weapon, and he's going to be picked on a CCW down in jail. So, Can you shoot me the... Uh Yep, I'll and pull that just a second. His info? Yep. Uh, you should do the street gun thing. Yeah. I've never done that before, so. I'll, I can come on and show you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Blink number. Because the cat's down, otherwise I just pull from the cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get his, his info. And, uh. Yeah, so I'll just do it for the cat and tell it. So, we'll uh, so, address that and uh, go take care from there. Uh, I mean, this is. Prime spot for and else. Yep, I know. Like I said, that we have been having breaking and enterings up at the nip and sip, and uh, I want to check the security of that and observe him over here on the bike. And good stuff, man. And just, you know, good stuff. I want to uh, two in the morning. Do that, man. Yeah, so. Is it? Do you just attach it to the uh, report? I'll, I'll give you a shout. And, uh, yeah, I need to go to the report. Uh, one more bag. Thank you, sir. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll shoot that information over to you, Sergeant, and uh, we'll be to go from there. Hey, John, I'm going to do one more search just to make sure we're good to go prior to going to jail. Step on outside real quick. Let's do that. Just face the, the emblem right here on the car one more time. Partners here are going to light you up so we have a good uh, idea of what's going on. I'm going to search you one more time prior to taking you down. So like I said, you are under arrest for that CCW. What's going to happen is this. Uh, I'm going to document everything you told me in regards to why you're carrying that firearm. The fact that you were indeed trying to obtain that uh, uh, 
the actual permit to carry that firearm. However, city of Lansing, state of Michigan, when you do have a firearm like that concealed on your person, is indeed a crime, okay? And as our job as law enforcement officers to effect arrests on that. So it's that's why I wanted to ask you, what's that? It's a felon? Yes, sir. Have you been charged with a crime before? So, uh, I was telling you before, uh, we'll go through the court proceedings. I want to make sure I document very thoroughly uh, what you told me in regards to, you know, your side of the story. So, it'll be in the report uh, when that goes over to our prosecutor attorney. So, they have an idea of exactly what's going on with you, okay? Yeah. Uh, I'll make sure that I take care of that for you. And again, nothing else on you. you got to worry about nothing to stick or poke me. No drugs, no narcotics or bombs, knives, anything like that? No. Okay. Like I said, I like to do a thorough check prior to taking anyone up to the jail. If you have any uh, contraband on you when you get up there, it's a—it's actually another felony charge. What uh, you mean? Uh, if you had drugs or anything oh, up no, there, no. contraband style on you, no. uh, when we got up to the jail, uh, they would consider that a felony as well. So uh, it saves people a lot of grief when we figure it out out here, and then uh, we can all be honest and take care of our business. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Go ahead, spread your legs out, partner. Nothing inside those shoes we gotta worry about like that? Okay. I'm gonna grab this license off the floor and then grab the rest of your property that's put in that seat and we'll have you have a seat one more time, okay? Yep. So I can go to prison for this? They're gonna talk to the prosecuting attorney about it is what's gonna happen, okay? But I can't, or? Uh, it's not up to us, it's up to the circumstances around the situation, okay? And you have no criminal history? No. 